All right, so today we're talking about the insulation on the ceiling, and it's been a bit of a process of trial and error because um, I've never done a bus ceiling insulation or furring strips before. So let me show you a little bit of what I tried to do. Started out by trying to soak my wood. I got some two by twos, tried to soak it in the back of my truck, and my truck leaks, so it didn't actually soak. So then I tried to soak it in this tarp, and I brought it in to see if I can make it reach the bend, and it broke in half. So I thought to myself, what's like a two by two, but a little bit smaller? A one by two. So to get these furring strips up, uh, my dad let me borrow this old bag of farts and um, we pre-drilled all the holes. We burned through about, uh, I don't know, four or five, one eighth bits. So I'd recommend getting a multi-pack. They don't have a multi-pack um, at Home Depot or Lowe's or anywhere. So I'm gonna look and see if there's one on Amazon. And then we use these three inch screws, just construction screws, regular ones, and we just screwed them in. Good? Yeah, it's good. And then what we did is for these corner pieces, I just cut um, little six inch pieces here, and then whatever the gap was here, I cut those to fit, because I wanted this angle to be close to the same on all of them, but they're all a little bit different. Um, this is all six inches and then this one is all a little bit different. Because we used one by twos, there was a little gap above in between the ceiling and the wood. And so we just sprayed it in with some spray foam and let it expand. And then while it was expanding, we cut these pieces of pink here um, to length, a little bit bigger than they needed to be so they could just shove in there. And you just cut it, score it, snap in half, and then shove it up there. What I ended up doing for cutting the pink is I just measured the width of the ceiling right here and then cut this um, and then just stuck one piece in the middle and then I did it again and then these marks, um, they're, they're pre-scored, they snapped nicely um, around the corners. The whole piece, I tried to do a whole eight foot sheet, it just snapped right in half, it doesn't take the bend as well as I thought it would. So uh, I had to cut little pieces of pink to make it go, but it all worked out. <laughs> And then after the pinks were shoved up in here, we just taped the seams, um, make a nice insulation seal, vapor barrier. I don't know if you need a vapor barrier, um, but I just taped them because it looks nicer and it helps them to stay in. Um, and then kind of just spray foamed in all the extra pieces. I'm not quite done yet, about halfway done, but that's kind of how we're doing it. Don't mess it up. <laughs> Careful, man. Alright, alright, it's okay, I got this. At least 100 people will see this. <laughs> At least? At most. <laughs> oh! Hey! 
And that. Yeah. That's how it's done. Not how it's done. We did. Everyone was better than that. I promise. Gosh darn it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the ceiling remodel project. But first, I have something I want to show you guys. I decided to make uh, t-shirts, so um, <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun for the schoolie community to have some swag that they can wear. Or if you don't have a schoolie, you can um, just wear a shirt. This one says, make an impact on it, and it's got my impact driver, and there's gonna be a whole bunch of other tool type shirts and bus type shirts. So if you're interested, um, I'll leave a link to it below. It's red bubble, they fit nice, they smell nice. Um, and they're not that expensive, so there you go, t-shirts. But that's just for fun. So <laughs> thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like, subscribe, comment, share. What else can you do to this video? You can watch it a thousand times. You can watch it as you fall asleep. That's all. I'll see you guys next time on the Cole Adventures Bus Extravaganza. Peace.